patch. Once we get back home and more up, we'll schedule up an actual permanent repair. Remember, it's damage control, not damage repair. So you control the damage. The repairs, we'll make it back home with more up, okay? All right, good job. All right, next. My name is Victor Arcelai. I'm stationed at Coast Guard Cutter Active. I've been stationed in this uh, unit almost three years. I'm due to transfer soon. I'm damage controlman. I deal with uh, all kinds of repairs, uh, shipboard firefighting, uh, training. We do a lot, a lot of training. Um, basically, I'm a jack of all trades, master of none. Basically, I can do anything from welding to carpentry, but I'm neither a, well a licensed welder nor a licensed carpenter. First day I reported to the ship. Uh, usually when you report, you're just shaking hands and, no and learning names. I just, I wore my traps for like 10 minutes, and after that, I was already doing a welding job or a bracing job on one of the refrigeration units down in a Reefer Flats. So imagine you have a, a ship that's been it's 52, 53 uh, years old, and then you have, you have to deal with systems that are about the same age. Uh, and you know, as everything adv advances, parts become obsolete, and chasing down parts or figuring out how to fix what, what you have available, uh, it's, it could be, it, it's a challenge. Uh, for example, I never, uh, I've heard of products that I never was able to use till I showed up to this unit because it, situations became so unique and so dire that I just had to, fl just had to flip the cards and luckily, here we are. We didn't sink, we didn't catch on fire, everything's working tip top. And once again, it's one of those things that it, it creates a sense of reward uh, because you, you know you're making a change, you know you, you're, you're being useful. Uh, and you know that like, you know, you're using the training that, that you acquire in, in, in A school or in, in all the C schools that you go through, you know you're using it so you know that uh, you're, a, you're a cog, a moving part on this great uh, machinery that is this cutter. You know, we sit down, we have uh, little training sessions together and I love it when sometimes uh, the same person that I'm training today is the same person that I I've had the pleasure to sit down on the board and shake their hand and say, you're qualified. Uh, and whether they become a damage controlman in the future when they go to A school or an MK, uh, or a BM. I'm just happy that at that point in time, I was able to be a part of their career development. And like, once again, you, when you leave a unit, that's what you want. You want to be able to touch people's lives and be a productive uh, influence. Because I think that this unit, even though I've been in Coast Guard going on 18 years, and this is one of my latter uh, ships, has taught me so much that if I, I'm pretty sure it's been one of the ones that have taught me the most. It's made me a better person, a better damage controlman, a better technician. I've done so much to this ship uh, to help her stay afloat, that I'm pretty sure that this is, if not one of the most, if the, the one that's helped me the most in my career. So it's uh, definitely uh, reporting here has kept me busy and I'm happy for it. I usually tell my wife that she's my, she's my one and only, but the ship is my mistress because sometimes I spend so many hours on the ship that, you know, it would make a, any wife jealous.